All right, hello everybody, Jedi King 98 here, and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Zombies video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the first step to upgrading the Apothecan Bow. So what you need to do is get the Apothecan Bow, of course, and if you don't know how to do that, I'll have a link down in the description. Then you need to come over here to the spawn and shoot this uh, sigil here. It's actually in the courtyard area. You have to shoot it with the charged up shot. I don't know if that has to be a charged up shot. I think it does, but I can't. I haven't tried it with like a normal shot, but I'm pretty sure it has to be a charged one. And then you're going to get these purple arrows right here, and there are four sets of arrows that you need to collect to upgrading this weapon so now we need to come to the bell tower here with the spiral stairs and shoot this sigil in the same way that you shot the other one and this is going to give us the red arrows or the fire arrows so i'm assuming that's what they are so now the next one here we need to activate the death ray here and shoot this wind vein right here um you can't shoot the wind vein without having activated the death ray it won't work it won't activate the sigil you need to have the death ray working and then you need to pick up the uh the arrows right there the blue i think th th those were the blue ones i can't remember um and then now we need to activate these four paintings and these are activated in a specific order there's four of them they have to be um, they're going to have like two hounds heads light up on them you're going to see and if they aren't the right in the right order if you're not activating them in the right order the hounds heads will blink and then disappear so this is the order that it was for me um, and these are the little four locations of the paintings you just need to go around its trial and error see which ones match up and when they stay lit that you know that that's in the correct order and then you come down here to the pyramid room and pick up this the blue arrows here so these are the four arrows that we need to use to upgrade the uh, the bow and I'm not entirely sure what to do with these um, I have some theories regarding this so the first one here is in the spawn area there's a sigil marking on the ground we saw this in the trailer for Dura Eisendraka um, back when Treyarch released that also here there's another sigil in the bell tower section right underneath it and there's a purple there's a stone that's highlighted with a purple like haze right here and I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of this is I have a feeling it has to do with the purple arrows in a way um, I'm gonna be trying to get the gravity spikes and and using them to smash down onto this tile and see if it does anything such as activating the sigil because we need the sigil to light up red such as it did in shadows of evil we saw that in the the trailer for await the awakening dlc when that one guy was working on the map in the the computer um you could see like he was doing a pan around shot of the courtyard and you saw that the blood sigil that i showed the first one was it was lit up red so we're assuming that that's going to have something to do with upgrading these the bows and using the arrows to do so and then we can get elemental bows um, of course we have fire on it now but we will be getting the other elements when we uh, when we upgrade them now I did try killing zombies around there I did try shooting the chandelier above it I tried everything but nothing seems to work and that purple haze has definitely not been there the entire time of this game it only recently came in it was not there the first time that I walked into this room so it is definitely something new I tried standing on this tile for a set number of time like you do in the zero gravity room I tried everything um, so the one thing that I do want to do is get the gravity spikes and definitely uh, smash down on there and see if it like breaks open the seal or whatever so I'm gonna try that and I'll get back to you guys on that if you have any ideas any theories if you know anything leave a comment down below this is how you get the first step to upgrading the bows you can also take note that you can only hold one set of arrows at a time so you have to do these upgrades uh, one at a time basically so if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's get this video spread around. I want to know how to upgrade these bows. We got to figure this out, guys. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.